Alright YouTube, welcome back to a new video and today we are using Photopea so this is a free software you can use, just look it up, photopea.com so we're going to use this to create a UI for a Roblox game so let's go to new projects right here and I'm going to go for 1920 by uh, 1080 I'm going to hit create right here alright so now, alright so I just blurred a random image uh, just to act as a background so we could work all right so now let's get right into it down here you will see the new layer um, button so this will create a new layer for us our UI has to be on a separate layer as you can see this wallpaper is one layer and this background is a second one as you can see so just like a sandwich has layers um, this is the same thing so click here it says new layer I'm gonna hit that I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go for my rectangle tool right here you can see corner radius so this will adjust how round the corners are um, I think I'm gonna go for like I don't know 30 we could give it a shot and fill with this on this means the shape we create will um, will fill with this color and we have stroke off so that's fine uh, fill I'm gonna go for a little shape like that and I'm gonna hit the and now I'm gonna go back to the move tool this place is right here this is fine for now all right so now we're going to right click and go into bundling options for this layer and right here you can see all these options first let's go for a color overlay first we can go for a color overlay and this will help us to change the color uh, you can go for any color you want I think we go for a white color for example I think that should be fine. And now let's add a drop shadow. You can also just copy my settings for angle. I'm gonna go for 90. Boom. You can adjust the distance and spread and size values right here. Now we don't want too much size. Just kind of keep it like that. Opacity a bit lower, like 20. And I think I like this right here. So if we take a look, this is what we have. It looks pretty cool. Let's zoom in and you can use the hand tool if you hit H on your keyboard uh, this will help you pan around the canvas like so okay so now I'm going to make a new layer and now I'm going to make sure I'm still on my rectangle tool uh, corner radius is still 30 maybe drop this down to 20 and with this we're going to let's go here let's click and hold and hold shift and alt and you're going to drag out a shape like this. Right. We take this, place this right here. You go right click, blending options, and let's go for a gradient overlay this time. Make sure your mode is normal. We're gonna click on the gradient box. Double click here, and we're going to change our color. So I'm gonna go for a green. I'm gonna go for a nice little dark green color, and then I'm gonna go for a brighter color, like so. Now we can add inner shadow. Let's go spread up. Let's change the color here to a nice white color. And let's also change your blend mode to overlay. Now you can't really see it yet, but there it is. It's a little effect. That uh, looks pretty cool. Let's add a stroke actually. For this one, I'm gonna go for a nice dark green color, like so. And I'm also gonna add a slight drop shadow. All right, so this is what we have. A nice little button. Now we can hit new layer again. Let's go for our text tool. Let's change our colors to white. I'm just gonna click right inside this box. Shift and hit um, to create a little plus icon. If you hit if you hit Control Alt and T, you can bring a free transform and we can use this to scale this uh, little text. All right, so here flaticons.com. This is a free website you can use to find icons that are completely free. Uh, to use so I think I'm gonna go for a gem icon it should be fine um, I think I like, I like this one so hit download free all right so I'm gonna add the icon there we go it's just gonna go right there and I'm gonna use my text tool again this time I'm just going to type out some numbers so five to five Right, let's change the color to this. This looks uh, perfectly fine. 
So there you guys have it. That is how you can create a currency uh, UI for your Roblox game using Photopea, the free software. It is quite similar to Photoshop, albeit um, obviously there's much less features, but if you are a beginner or intermediate, you can still, you know, use this to create some decent work as you can see right here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe and also share this video with anybody else that you think this could be uh, helpful towards. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you.